Hey, Dan Safarians, welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon, guys. Okay, so this is basically my studio where I keep all my dinosaurs as well as animal figurines. Today, we will be taking a look at a box of prehistoric animals. Oh my goodness. Wow, well done, T-Rex. You are standing really well. We're going to be taking a look at a box of prehistoric animals as well as dinosaurs, okay? We have a couple of new dinosaurs in this box, so let's begin, guys. All right, the first figure, it's actually a brand new Tyrannosaurus Rex from a brand called Recur, okay? It still has its tag on right here. So yeah, it's a really, really cool figure because it is actually quite soft. So you can actually Google like Recur, Recur toys, and you'll be able to find you know, a wide variety of like dinosaurs as well as animals. So this one is actually a big T-Rex. It's actually very soft, which is why it's quite safe for a little one. So, and in terms of the scope, I think it is brilliant. So it's definitely quite a cool figure for, for you to actually display in your um, display shelf. Next one, we actually have another one from Rico as well. I think this is known as a Brachiosaurus. You guys know the Brachiosaurus is basically known as the arm lizard. You can see this figure, it contains plenty of details, which is really, really nice. I think it comes with a fat cut as well. So you're able to find some pictures and also some facts about the Brachiosaurus. So let's read this together, okay? Did you know the skull of the Brachiosaurus was loosely attached to the neck? Brachiosaurus was once believed to be a semi-aquatic dinosaur. I think so because they are actually very very huge and that long neck will actually allow them to um, you know, breathe and possibly catch fish quite easily. Next, we'll go into this box of um, you know, prehistoric animals. So we have a smaller dawn right here which is like a prehistoric um, tiger or like a big cat. So this one is a really really cool one. Um, this is a baryonyx. If I'm not wrong, this is known as the raw attack baryonyx. We have a couple of a really really cool baryonyx figures. This is another one. Okay, this one it's it's like a um yeah, it's another baryonyx figure basically. Next up, we have a velociraptor. This it's a savage strike, Charlie. Charlie figure. Let's take a look at other prehistoric animals. I think we should have quite a few prehistoric animals, so let's be um, really, really patient. What is this? Let's have a look. Um, every single one of them actually comes with a name below. So this is actually a Polycanthus, which looks like a, you know, Ankylosaurus. Spinosaurus, I think that you guys should be extremely familiar with this dinosaur, okay? Next, another mini Spinosaurus. This one is really really adorable. We got this figure like um, quite recently. You are able to like move the arms as well. Triceratops, we got this figure quite recently as well. You're able to turn the head and stuff like that. Um, Elasmosaurus, I think is one of the um, very very um, um, uh, well-known prehistoric marine reptiles. This one I think is known as a a Loro Titan, if I'm not wrong. Let's have a look at the name written right below. Let's have a look. Uh, probably, yeah, I can't find it. But I think this is definitely an Oloro Titan. Oh, it's right here, guys. The name is actually behind the head right here. Oloro Titan. Very tiny. You can't really see it, but it's written right there. This is known as a um, Concavenator. Yeah, it's definitely not a super accurate looking um, dinosaur, you can see this dinosaur has a hump right here. Yep, it's a very very weird little hump. Okay, next up, we do have another prehistoric um, animal. Um, I think this is a, it's an Ichthyosaurus, if I'm not wrong. I'm trying to find its name because every figure has its name written somewhere, but it's really really hard to find. So we have to observe really carefully. But uh, for this one, I can't really find it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think it's written. This this figure doesn't have any name, but it should be an Ichthyosaurus. Um, this is a Dimetrodon. It is definitely not a dinosaur. It's a prehistoric cynocete. And this one, it should be a Velociraptor. If I'm not wrong, it should be. I think so. This is hundred percent 
a stegosaurus okay it's one of the very very well-known herbivorous dinosaur this one if i'm not wrong it's an um australovanator i'm just trying to find the name yes it's right here it's um a dinosaur which was discovered in australia this is like a prehistoric bird by the name of Cordy Cordyterix. okay moving on we have a zuni ceratops i think many of you guys would think this it's a triceratops but it's actually not and this is a um kind of taurus um this it's a tyrannosaurus rex t-rex this it's a velociraptor this it's a pachyrannosaurus which is known as the thick nose lizard this is a coelophysis um another t-rex and this is actually known as yeah, I think this figure was actually a bootleg version. Bootleg meaning it's not an original figure. They basically copied um, the T-Rex from the Jurassic Park series. Herrerasaurus, yeah, you can see we have quite a number of uh, Mattel dinosaurs in this box, actually. Zuni Ceratops, yeah, we have quite a number of spare ones, duplicates, to be honest. Brachiosaurus, I, I like this one. This one is a pretty cool one. Brachiosaurus. This one, I think, um, it looks like a pentaceratops. I don't think so. I think it could be a protoceratops. Let's have a look. Um, the name should be right here. Yep, it's a protoceratops. But I think the horns doesn't really look like the horns of a protoceratops. Alioramus. Okay. Next, we have a, um, I think this is known as a germanodactylus. Let's have a look. Yep, germanodactylus right here it looks like a pteranodon which um you know most of you guys are quite familiar with this is a ceratosaurus yep so you guys must be wondering how do i know dinosaurs so much in case that you guys do not know i actually own dan surprise which is the um dinosaur channel this looks like a dragon um brachiosaurus another really beautiful one this one is known as a chilingosaurus guys chilingosaurus um diplodocus if i'm not wrong I can remember it easily. I mean, I can re recognize it easily by this little spikes along his body. Okay, next up, um, Therizinosaurus. I think many of you guys know this dinosaur from Jurassic World Dominion. Yep, it's one of the um, very famous dinosaurs out there. Stegosaurus. Yes, we have two of this um, really beautiful Stegosaurus figures. Next up, Triceratops. Yeah, that's right. Triceratops. This one, if I'm not wrong, it's a Euplocephalus. Let's have, let's have a look. Yep, it's a Euplocephalus. Of course, it does look like an Ankylosaurus, but it's not. Okay, this one, it has a broken tail. Oh my goodness. Such a poor dinosaur. Just pop it right back, but I think it will break once again. This, it's um, Charyptosaurus. If I'm not wrong, let's have a look. Yep, Charyptosaurus, which is known as the Helmet lizard this it's an allosaurus if i'm not wrong or a doe it doesn't really look like one but it is an allosaurus which is known as the different lizard and here we have a um fierce force velociraptor yep a really cute and adorable triceratops looks like it's a shiny version this one um i can't really tell but i think it should be a velociraptor next up we have another prehistoric marine reptile of course this is not a dinosaur it is an elasmosaurus okay another spinosaurus i really like this color scheme i think uh, you know this color scheme looks really really cool luminous green with some red and um, black stripes across the body so it definitely looks um awesome dimetrodon this is quite a nice one, okay. Parasaurolophus, right here. Wow, this one is cool. It's a Cantrosaurus, of course. Um, you can also call this like a Chunkingosaurus. Uh, it's basically a Stegosaur, and you can see it looks like a can. It looks like a Cantrosaurus for sure. I mean, it is definitely a Cantrosaurus. Uh, but I'm trying to say is that Chunkingosaurus are like a Kentrosaur. It looks like a Kentrosaurus as well. A mini Ankylosaurus, if I'm not wrong. Oh, they call this the Euplocephalus as well, so it's not an Ankylosaurus. 
with some really tiny little dragons right here. Imagine next, Triceratops. How do we actually operate this? Oh, there's a button right below. So Triceratops is basically known as the um, three horn faced uh, because of the three horns right in front of his face. We also have um, Pachycephalosaurus right over here. And um, this, if I'm not wrong, if I remembered correctly, it is known as a Camptosaurus, if I'm not wrong. Let's have a look. Hmm, where's the name? Pladiosaurus, I beg your pardon. Okay, we have a tiny little um, Dilophosaurus right here. A very cute and adorable, probably an Elasmosaurus or a Plesiosaurus. Triceratops. Um, Parasaurolophus. I have no idea what this is. It's like a lion. Very cool. And our last item is actually like a little bullet. I can't remember, you know, which dinosaur or which figure it actually belongs to. Yeah, so this is basically, um, yep, my collection. So I'm gonna put all of them back right now. Okay, so hopefully you guys um, enjoyed this video. I know that you guys prefer watching animals animals on my channel but occasionally i'm gonna do some dinosaurs and hopefully you guys like it and um i mean if you guys prefer to watch like more animal videos on den safari do let me know and i will try to of course you know i've been making a lot of um animal videos on den safari so i'm trying to freshen things up a bit otherwise i might get too bored and um recently they have you know i don't really have any new um, animal figures, so I'm not too sure what um, collection video I should be making in the next one. On Friday, I'll probably do like a shucks collection because many of you guys actually love shucks a lot. So I might do another shuck collection update. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys have like suggestions, please comment down below. Let me know what other. Um, collection videos you guys want me to make can we make like a lion versus crocodile versus um elephants collection i think that would be quite cool but i don't think i have that many um you know figures to do like a collection video we, we do have quite a number of um lions but i don't think we have more than 10 elephants so if we were to do like um, a collection video it's going to be like a really really short one um, and I prefer making long videos because many parents, they are actually quite appreciative when I'm making long videos because it can actually help to keep their kids occupied and um, collectors like me to show more figures rather than just, you know, like 10 figures or 20 figures. They like me to show like the entire case of um, figures. Yeah, usually they like it more. So uh yeah i want you guys to like let me know like what other videos i should be making and um i'll be happy to incorporate some of your ideas wow this one is something that we have got uh recently as well it's a brachiosaurus or i i, I mean it's, i think it's look it's an i think it's an apatosaurus i think so all right um so that's about it guys so hopefully you guys enjoy this and i will see you guys on friday for the next one i'm not too sure like which which drawer that we should you know go with you know every single drawer contains different um figures the last one is actually whales and dolphins the second last one this one is actually sharks this one are, are some crustaceans you can see the crab lake jutting out right over there this one right here this one this one with the orange um figure right there is um basically the fish the fish collection this one i'm not too sure i can't remember so maybe next next week i mean on friday we can just randomly point to one of these drawers and we can do like a collection video because i'm aware of what the bottom drawers are but i'm i can't really remember like what are the top drawers so maybe we can pick like three drawers and we can do a collection video i think that would be quite fun as well right so yeah i think thanks for watching this i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye